Alright guys, so I've already showed y'all how to mod your gamer tag, but now I'm going to show you how to do it in 3D. Alright, so for those of you that don't know how to mod your gamer tag, just go and look at my video. Um, if you already do, then of course you don't need to watch it. So first you're just going to make sure your USB is in and open USB Explorer. And file, open device, and click until you can't go any further. You might have to search through different profiles and stuff, but once you find it, extract it to your desktop. It may take a few seconds, and you can minimize that. Alright, so I know in my video I told y'all use HADS, it's better and everything, but I don't know how to do 3D in HADS, so we're going to have to use EZGT 2.2. Which I don't really like because they don't have uh, black and easy GT. But oh well. So once you open it, um, oh, and by the way, if you know how to do it on hats, I would love to know so I can make a video or something on how to do it because I just find hats better. But it doesn't matter. So what we're going to do is first go to advanced. Well, first click on this blue man, click open and go to desktop and search for your profile it'll bring up your gamer tag minus cgp x intensity backspace it go to advanced and click add hex od space um add click a color um i'll pick red then put in a four letter word I'm going to put OMG and then exclamation mark. So actually it can be whatever you want, you know, three characters or whatever. Um, click advanced, add hex OD, so, um, add, pick another color, I'll pick yellow, and then put the word again, OMG, exclamation mark. Now the first color you pick will be your shadow color and then the second color you pick will be the one in front and um, it gets kind of confusing but you'll figure it out. And then you should have 15 characters and it'll show you at the bottom you have all 15 of them. Then you click the smurf and you save it to your desktop. Whoa, desktop. Alright, then it will make this folder. Um, then you're going to op um, open USB Explorer back and click these dots until you get the content. And then just double click and it will have a couple of files. It may only have one. And just drag that folder into it. The green bar will go across and it will say done. And then after that, just pull your USB out. Put it in your Xbox and transfer both files onto your Xbox and you're done. So this help just comment, rate, and subscribe and peace.